What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, the battle we all knew was coming, sooner or later, has finally happened. The Swedish are sallying outside of Gdansk, so let us get ready for a rather long and bloody battle. Firstly, let's uh, switch some of my infantry around. And then probably start to bring in some artillery, maybe some cavalry, field artillery. Because the, the, there is an extremely strong chance that uh, our first army runs out of ammunition <laughs> um, against, against their forces. And then we've also got quite a large number of troops coming in afterwards, so let's see how we get on. But this is one of two battles I expect to fight. We've got this battle here at Gdansk, then we've got another battle down on Sardinia that I'm expecting the Swedes to uh, to attack us on, which will face, which will probably face a similar sort of enemy, an enemy which will attempt to swamp us with large numbers of men. So this should be pretty interesting, I think. Right. So I want the best defensive position possible and preferably one that's close to the edge of the map. So let's do that. Let's get some three infantry and a grenadier unit. So let's put the grenadiers by the guns. Let's give those guys, let's put the, the near, ones nearest, give them trenches, give these guys anti-cavalry, give them uh, anti-cavalry spikes. Let's take these guys and deploy them like so. Give them trenches. Do you have a wall? Mm, even then, that's not a great position. Maybe it ought to be focused on defending... Hmm. Because that over here we get a problem. A certain I don't know. Actually, it's not so bad. I might be tempted to actually take this last gun, put them up here, and have them doing long-range shots against enemy bombarding infantry, which means I could probably be a bit more free with this other wing of infantry, so let's probably do something like... It's not a terrible firing position. Let's put... a unit of our Jaegers here, because they can put down... probably something like... Uh, actually, if I put something like that, it won't prevent them from engaging with their shells but it will prevent it it will defend help defend against an overall cavalry charge and these guys can just in general deploy to so deploy just a general cavalry cavalry defense they can deploy some stakes to protect that flank we've got cavalry on both flanks we can have artillery that's going to be a bit more dotted about You, you, and now it's you to deploy. Right, let's get going. So both these light infantry units both deploy stakes as well, just to enhance their defence. It looks like they are actually going to break out and deploy either side of... Actually, it looks like they might get bugged out. take these guys and stretch them out. Let's push these guys over onto the other flank. Oh, Howard is coming in and attacking the provincial cav.
Right, my artillery unit that's at the rear. Focus fire that damn mortar unit. You men can use your little laser beams. Try and engage the 28th. Although, to be honest, you may as well just pivot you across. Send in the artillery and now also retarget my howitzers. focus on stuff that's actually in range if once my once my uh, hussars win this fact this fight I'm gonna set them on a send them on a flanking run I mean I definitely retargeted you guys these guys are gonna go flank to go knock out their mortars which means that my my guns can shoot at nearer targets. Because what have they got back here? I've got some missiles, some provincial cav. We knocked out one howitzer. Yeah, we're actually giving them a rabbit to chase as well. Okay, howitzers might actually focus on this flank because it looks like our men down here are going to be slightly overwhelmed certainly compared to the other flank. See, mortars, mortars are no bueno. Although we are actually chipping away at them, they've now got only two guns left. Let's nail these how howitzers before they get too close. You can try fire shrapnel shot at some of these units coming in. So hopefully I can knock out that unit of howitzers. Then run on where's the gun team that sat right at the back? Let's try to get you guys to engage the cavalry, you guys hit the mortars. Howitzers engage some of the units down here, for darn sure. Good, they've actually run away from us a little bit. That should give us enough the breathing space we need to run out. Clean out the mortars. 10th Regiment are routing. These men with their little... Pew, pew, pew. Hit the mortars, don't just stand near them. Alright, you guys need to... Need... Focus fire at these guys at short range. Good, let's get my cavalry out of here. Garrison guards are coming in, so let's clear them out. Why are you not firing by rank? That's odd. Coming after my cavalry. No, hussars, don't route. We've got so much to live for. I mean, they are. They're not as good. The provincial cav might be leaving them alone. But you better focus it. Focus on them. You guys focus on the mercenaries.
and you guys get into square formation. The cavalry's coming in. Get my cavalry back out on the flank. Okay, the enemy reinforcements are coming in on the left, so let's take this flank and move it around. Lots of these guys are shattered, which is excellent news. My artillery can currently fire along the front for now. Let's run this cavalry up to try to inset those 12 pounders. Yep, those guys can get hit by shrapnel shot. Okay, you guys limber up. Let's try and line them up a bit in a better, bit of a better position. Let's pick a new front line. I'm come on. There we go. It does suck to be leaving my defences, but ultimately I think it's the better thing to do. My artillery can attempt to go over here, hopefully if they can avoid... Actually, I might do that, so they avoid the stakes. Get a howitzers limbered up, so my men stay in position while my howitzers limber. This gun team can still take him out. These facades, ah! They're going to get hit by the 12th, but they're still going to get their man. Oh, some close range artillery, they knock them out. You guys limber up. These men shift to about here. Yeah, my hussars are gone. We didn't actually manage to make their cavalry route, their artillery route, which is kind of lame. You guys bombard the 16th Regiment. Yeah, so that's where the new army is coming in from. Over. Okay, so this army's fi this unit's finally gonna fall back. Although my Jaegers have run out of ammo, so they're going to actually retreat. Although we do have unit of a proper unit of line infantry coming in, so they can bulk up the right flank. how it probably needs to move a bit further back. And this artillery could unlimber, firing round shot. We're going to need to engage enemy artillery at long range. So you guys are now going to shoot. Oh, that's my howitzers. That's the dragoons coming in. Another of the armies is coming in right on the far flank. Let's just get all my artillery focusing on their guns. My Jaegers are going to get caught by the enemy. Or maybe they won't. They definitely get caught by the provincial cav though, so I might have to run these guys over here. My heavy cavalry get over here as well to help them out. Might bring my light infantry over here as well. I might even end up pointing my infantry line a bit more like this. I'm alright with them killing my Jaegers, because they were already they were they were down for the count anyway. Yeah, 
it looks like my artillery is not engaging the targets I gave them. Oh, I suppose they're out of range. That howitzer is in position, so let's unlimber them. So the purpose of the these this this unit is just to drop into square, to draw their cavalry in, with an aim to actually start to shore up this position with a few more line infantry units. So send my heavy cavalry in. Send my heavy cavalry in, pick up these two units, set them to fire it will off for now. My heavy cavalry is going to cut right through that formation but they're going to protect that pass. Repel the unit of dragoons. Good quick line came in, that killed a bunch of hussars. Got a regiment of horse pushing on this flank. Come on, you men, engage the regiment of horse. You guys drop into square. My heavy cavalry is going to knock them out pretty easy. My general's bodyguard has to attack their general's bodyguard, and let's also send in my Swiss grenadiers to give them some extra support. My light infantry can take position up on this ridge. Lots of square formations set up. Unfortunately, they've all run past our the bulk of our anti-cavalry defences. Bring our cavalry back across. General's bodyguard is down. Enemy general is down. Swiss grenadiers get back in formation. Same with my general. I bet no one's going to come in from down here now. It's got a lot of artillery, so let's really focus my my guns on their guns. My artillery is well out of range. Heavy horse guard artillery, eh? My heavy cavalry have something to say about that. Let's group all my guns up together because they now have the same job. They're all going to focus on that unit of hussars. Oh, yes, please. Haha, <laughs> you fools. go, the 37th are down. Oh, some howitzers coming in. Doing some good damage. Now uh, you and Limber switch to round shot, see what you can shoot. It's a lot of artillery. How's our ammo doing? There's no standout candidates for losing their artillery, for losing for losing their uh, ammo. You guys run, keep running. You may as well keep running and see what you can exploit around here. My artillery. I've got a feeling it isn't doing what I want it to do. But I do need to hop back to my line because there's a cavalry unit here. Yeah. Drop into square. Back over to my heavy cavalry. 
See, they're not. My artillery's not targeting what I would like them to target. Fortunately, though, know, my heavy cavalry does have a bit of freedom behind their lines. So it's going to knock out this artillery, push up. It looks like the new army's coming in. They're bringing in fresh troops. You guys get out of the square, get back to the heavy cavalry. There we go, we're going to be hopefully let loose in their artillery park for a while. Well, not for long. At the very least, we're going to make them lose their mobility. There you go, this is it. We've drawn them in. A great cavalry battle. And we are likely to rout for good. Yeah, there we go. Quicklands coming in with devastating results. Let's drop you guys into round into a line again. Let's get you guys set up in a better formation. Hey, fire! I will. Oh, no, no, aren't. Getting sound problems now after all that. Okay, let's retarget my artillery against the incoming infantry. All my guns. Hey, my heavy cavalry came back. I'm mighty suspicious about these howitzer shots. Get you guys up there. There we go, here comes the enemy. Into our line, looks like they've got skirmish cavalry here. These men are going to pivot. I'm try and engage the first horse guards, yeah, they've broken. Guerrilla mercenaries. Have at it, men. Bit of a funky position. There we go. And these men with their long range rifles that sound terrible. There we go. My men have now taken up position in the woods. God knows how they're gonna, how they're gonna hit anyone within that sort of engagement. Okay, this unit, you fall back. You engage the regiment of foot. You engage one of these light dragoons. Quick climb coming in, right. You men fall back up the hill. You keep running. Fall back to the guns for extra support. Grenadiers out on the flank. You guys can now switch to trap or shot. Focus fire. Battlefield targets. 
my flank is a very vulnerable here. You guys try shrapnel shot that regiment of foot. We're trying to draw in these cavalry units like iron filings. It looks like we can have some success. Although these light dragoons. Okay, you guys both drop into squares and hold. Pull my howitzers back. Rein the reinforcements are here. You. Actually, you can try and hit the 12th. You guys drop into line. You guys should be. Oh, you're out of ammo. Run. Should be having another unit coming into the field now. You guys hit that square. You men hit that unit of regiment of foot. Let's get you guys back out of square and into line. Cavalry fancies their chances. New men drop into square. See if we can repel them. There we go, the cavalry sharpshooters are in. Cavalry have been knocked out. We're doing an ammo front. Generally, everyone's okay. I mean, you guys are firing at not great targets. Go after the dragoons all the way to the rear. Actually, you guys go after those light dragoons. Got some artillery, blunder by shotgunners. Eighth are down for the count. Switch to round shot, engage at long range. You guys aim at the 94th. The sharpshooters are wavering. General's bodyguard is upset. These infantry, when they're done, they're going to push down to here to help, shul help solidify this flank, because it looks like. We are going to be in a good position there. So the light horse coming in. These blunder by shotgunners are likely to do some damage to us. Okay, you guys unlimber. And you are going to keep dropping quicklime right here. And this other unit, you limber up. You guys aim with that regiment of dragoons. Same with you. Actually, you guys shrapnel the dragoons. You guys bayonet charge the blunderbuss shotgunners in the rear. So you keep dropping quick climbing. To be honest, both of you do, because ultimately this is going to be where the next enemy reinforcing army is coming in from. charge the shotgunners. We just need to make them route. They're only light infantry, so they're not... You guys have to form up there to try and engage. The enemy are pushing up. You guys both shot or shot those dragoons. They're coming in. There we go. So then you guys... I mean, the guerrilla mercenaries look like they want to charge. 
But you guys just get into a position to engage. Alright. Charge. Let's pick new artillery targets. Although it looks like most of the rest of the battlefield has fallen. Apart from that, there's it. Oh, there's a. Okay, so we've got a howitzer unit here that doesn't have the howitzers, but they're still dropping. They're still firing howitzer shells. It's pretty lame. Is it something to do with yeah, you? Maybe. It's two of them, really. The expat units are the expat the expat units are winning. This infantry fight, at least for now. It feels like their rate of fire is actually better than regular artillery. Don't worry, you men. Soak up the damage from these guys. Let's bring you guys over. So those men are broken as well. Let's run on to this artillery to the rear. So Swedish troops are... They're not, they're not terrible in melee combat, that's the thing to remember. Well, they get, I think they get bonuses. Gonna mercenaries are starting to break. Now, you guys also get involved in the, in the battle. There you go, now they're starting to lose. As the boom of shrapnel shot flies over the battlefield, because now these are these two units on the map of the artillery that's running away. My general's going to chase down that last unit of gunners. Hit the expats. There we go. Thirty ninth can't halt can't hold against us. Wait, where have you gone? Oh wait. I missed the target. So they're gone. The infantry over here are gone. Ah, oh, thank god. That was a... That's pretty good. Oh, pardon me. That's pretty good, I think. That went... It went pretty well. We managed to not need too many of our reinforcements, and we absolutely slaughtered the Swedes. So now all those troops fall back. Too bad they fall back. They fell back the wrong way. Ooh. But this battle... <laughs> yeah, I have to immediately fight another one. What I'm going to do is look at the timer and say that's the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another battle against the Swedish Empire. See you, everyone.